Hi guys, let me share to you about my my experience in breeding superworms. Breeding superworms also are a good source of income considering that these worms had been the favorite food for many reptiles and even fishes. So I decided to breed superworms because I have so many pets and I found out very expensive buying this at the pet store. So I decided to do it myself and allow me to share this to you because maybe you also have many pets and you would like to also engage in breeding superworms for your pets. So I will show you now the step by step process on how to breed this superworm. Choose the largest superworms possible and place a single worm into an empty 35 mm film container. In my case, I am using the empty bottles of Yakult. Leave the superworm in the empty film container with no food or water. Adding food or water to the film container prolongs the time it takes them to pupate and makes a bigger workload for you. So the tip is you don't have to put food or water inside the film. After several days, the worms will become dormant and begin curling and forming into a letter C or letter E. This is the start of the morphing process. Any superworms that are straight looking, hard or black are probably dead. This is their third stage of life. You can either leave them in a film container or place them all in a separate container. In my case, I prefer to place them all in a separate container. When their legs turn darker in color, you'll know a beetle is about to emerge. The process from pupae to beetle takes about two weeks. Moisture is extremely important for the beetles just as it is for the superworms themselves. In my case, I use pechay or chayote as food and for them to be able to have a moisture. A lack of moisture will result in beetle preying on eggs, newly hatched babies, and other beetles. Adult beetles can live up to 5 months with a female, laying a nearly 500 eggs in her lifetime. The key to hatching is heat and most importantly moisture. For the babies, I keep the temperature around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Add small chunks or slices of potato, carrots, apples, etc. on the bedding surface. This will provide moisture for the newly hatched babies. Once the babies grow larger, you can use water crystals if you wish, but in my case, I use vegetables. You have now successfully completed your first breeding cycle. It will take time before your colony is established, but once it is, you'll have a continuous supply of superworms. I'm inviting everyone to please subscribe to this channel, Dexter's World, for you to be notified of more exciting videos. Thank you and have a good day.